Hey guys, what is going on? Bubbles here once again, and it's been a while since I've done the bit of a face cam with the actual camera itself, but it's a very special one today because it is the Battlefield 1 launch, and I've got my hands on the special edition, so let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as you can see, this is the big ass box I had got sent with the Battlefield 1 Collector's Edition. Apparently, I don't know if you can see it or not, I'll lift it up. I haven't got much room here. It's got 285 of 360. So I don't know if only 360 were done, but there we go. Um, I'll probably only 360 sent to the shop. But anyway, this is the big ass box. So, let's get it open. So, be careful. Now, my luck, I'll probably just fucking cut something. Now, to start off with, the game has come separate. So it didn't come in the box, as you know, I just cut it open then. This comes with five discs. Someone's gonna say, there's only four there. It's currently installing, so. Game comes separate, so the game's there. It's installing at the moment. So I wanted to do this with you guys. I, as you can see, I haven't cut it open. I've only just done it now, so this is all new to me as well. Righty, let's get that there. Some pretty foam. Oh, quite sexy looking foam, look at that. Chuck that over there. Some more foam. Some plastic. Alrighty, give me a knife back out. Ooh, alright, this looks pretty cool. Really don't want to damage anything. It cost me too much. If you're from, if you're from Australia, you know how much this cost. Alrighty, from what we can see, we've got Battlefield 1 written across the top here. If you can see it. Let's get this out of the box. Battlefield 1. Oh, and there's some more foam down the bottom there. Alright, let's get this box out of the road. Alrighty, so let's get this plastic off from around it. Righty, let's get this little cover thing off it. If it'll come off, which it doesn't seem to bloody want to. Might have to get the knife on it. Very, very hard to get off. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, I kind of scratched the box doing that. Big ass bloody cover thing around the box put that in there I just scratch the side of the box doing that now oh, it'll buff out alrighty battlefield one ah, okay like that all right a little tricky Ooh. all right we've got some more foam which is quite hard to get out. I've got my Battlefield 1 Redemption process code thing. Oh, I just hit the microphone. That was very, very loud. So that is an awesome Battlefield 1 box. I will keep that for something. Knife again. Got 
Oh, they put a lot of effort into this. Alrighty guys, I've had to readjust the camera because it is so damn big. Alrighty, as you can see, Battlefield 1. This is the foam box that's come out of that other big box, which I'm going to use for something. Alrighty, so let's get this off. Come on, get off. Oh, that looks awesome. So let's, let's start off with the smaller stuff. What have we got here? Looks like the steel case for Battlefield 1. As you can see, it's got one soldier there, nothing on own. Steel case for it. Anything in it? No. The weird thing is, this is five discs. That's got one disc holder. So I'm guessing that you only need one disc to actually play it, which, oh God, I hope so. So, all right, we get the steel case. Cool. Move on to something else. Battlefield 1 deck of cards. I'll open that up later and have a look at them, see if they've got any pictures or stuff on them. But there we go. Battlefield 1. Around the right way. Battlefield 1 deck of cards. Now, the small little thing is the uh, messenger holder for pigeons. Let's see if we can get it out of here. A little pigeon messenger holder which attaches to their leg. It's only a plastic thing. Oh, it opens up too. There we go. Let's have a look, see if it's got something in it. That little bit of paper is just scrap. So let's have a look. Don't want to lose that. If it'll come out. Damn my chubby fingers. I mean, yeah, there we go. That got it. Ah, that is cool. It's got the redemption process code in it. Which I'm not going to give you guys the number for it, but it's just the redemption process code that they've put, given us. It just looks like they've torn it off a bit of like A4 paper out of a book and just shoved it inside here of what they were doing in the war. Like just write in a book, tear it out, shove it in, put it onto a pigeon's leg. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's put the code back in the in the um, holder. Put it in there. It's only plastic. I thought it'd be like metal or something, but it's only um, plastic. See? Moving on to uh, dry pack. Get rid of that. Some double A, no, triple A batteries. Find out what that's for in a second. Triple A batteries. Now, to the granddaddy of them all. Actually, no, sorry. There's something else in here. We have, open that up. A little patch. If you can see it. There we go. One little patch there. Put you back in your little case. Get in there. One. Got another one here. I think this is like the handkerchief or something. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, it's the Enlist Now thing. There we go. Your country needs you. Enlist Now. Now, if you guys can see what's happening now, because it's still recording and the audio has changed quality, I just had a power failure. So, the video is still recording, thank Christ. The lighting may not be as good, and the sound may not be as good, but we'll bear through it. And I apologise for it. So, uh, what else? We'll move the statue out of the road for now. We'll get to that in a second. What else have we got in here? 
Well, that's it for the foam box. So we'll get that out of the road. Now, <clears throat> that also means, because I'm currently installing the game right now, so I'm going to have to restart it, which sucks. Because I tried to do it last night and it didn't bloody work. So, alright, we've got an arm for the soldier. Ugh, tough plastic. So I'll try to make this as clear as possible. We've got the arm for the soldier holding the gun. And the gun is a little loose, but that's alright. Move that out of the road. We have another arm for him. So he must be able to change his arms out. Which is cool. This one, he's holding a shotgun. So it might just... There we go, power's come back. Which means I have to redo everything again, which is going to be awesome. That's my screens turning back on. There we go. One holding the shotgun, right? And this one's holding a pistol. Alright, this is going to get... This is going to get really annoying because the power keeps cutting in and out. Right, now we move on. Ah, the statue is the thing that takes the batteries. All right, so we'll plug that in. We'll get the batteries in in a second. And get this off. Ah, oh, love the smell of new plastic. Get the plastic off, throw that away. And we have the soldier. Holding the gun, which his, his arm does come out. There we go. His arm comes out, so he could be armless. There we go. That is cool looking. So he's standing on what looks to be a uh, I'm going to guess a concrete floor because it is cracked. If you can see it, there we go. Lights come back on. Concrete floor is cracked and it's got some um, debris here and debris down there. He is cool looking, he's holding his little mace here. I wonder if you can change the mace out. Uh, oh, his mace arm does come out. Alright, cool. So he's got his little pack here. And everything that is cool so let's have a look let's um lower him down here a bit and see if the screwdriver I have here is small enough don't ask why I keep a screwdriver next to my computer oh it's the right size too two batteries I felt his leg just come off, or his arm just come off, I should say. Or something just fell out. Right, so. Something fell. I don't know what it was. Ah, there's a little bit of debris. Ah, oh, interesting, all right. The debris comes out and it's the on off switch, so I don't know what this does. Um, does it do anything? Three weeks later. Don't know what it does. I might have got a default one. Or a faulty one, I should say. So, anyway, this is the statue, right? Here we go. He's. No, I'm more like, I'm going to accidentally press something or he's going to do something and something will happen and it'll scare the shit out of me. Um, well it's turned on, batteries are in, unless for some reason the batteries are flat. But, can't press anything? I don't know, anyway. That's the soldier there, so I might change his guns. I might give him the other handgun. I'll give him this one. 
And I might change his mace. Change his mace out. And give him the shotgun. If I can get it in. There we go. There we go. That looks cool. Now he looks mean. There we go. Put the handgun and the shotgun in. And change it out for the other handgun. And the mace. So that's it. That's all that has come with the um, with the pack there. So you've got the soldier with the battery pack for some reason, which I'll work out why in a minute. You got the deck of cards, the steel case, the enlistment. If I can get it right there for you guys, the uh, enlist now. Your country needs you. Uh, cloth poster thing another little um, badge that you can put on like your shirt or something the additional arms for the soldier and last but not least the little pigeon messenger carrier which is cool with your little um, rede redemption code inside there now I want to apologize for the uh, blackouts that have happened during that video this video would have gone up a lot earlier but yesterday which was on a Friday the actual day of release um, the town I live in had a storm come through and it has knocked out the power um, a few buildings got damaged things like that my place is fine but we had no power from I think it was like 7 p.m. till like 3 o'clock this morning which is on a Saturday and We've had rolling blackouts since, so I've been trying to record this unboxing of the special edition. It hasn't quite worked out as anticipated, so apologies for that. I've had this is about the third or fourth time I've tried to install the game itself now because of the blackouts just kept fucking up everything. So it's now installing again. So hopefully this will install. I can get on playing the campaign, which I'm going to be recording some of that. I'll be recording the multiplayer as well. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing of the special editions. Apologies again for the rolling blackouts and the quality of the audio changing because it went from my Blue Yeti to the audio of the camera. So, thankfully, there's a backup. But anyway, the unboxing, I still haven't worked out the what the batteries do in this soldier. I worked that out soon unless the batteries are gone flat but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed the unboxing of this special edition of battlefield make sure you stick around for more videos of battlefield coming up very very soon i'm going to get them out as soon as i can as soon as i record them i'm hopefully going to put them up straight away for you guys so again i'm going to repeat myself again for like the 10th time hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing uh more videos of battlefield coming up Call of Duty unboxing will be happening in two weeks because that's when it gets released here. I'll be unboxing that as well. I don't think there's really too much special in it, but I'll do it anyway for you guys. And there'll be some more Call of Duty uh, videos of that coming out as well. So as always, guys, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. The links for all of them are in the description down below. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one.